today on Town Square Central is GM Zerafina, who is on the new player experience team, to talk with us about hashtag play apart together. So, Zerafina, welcome to Town Square Central. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. Yeah, it is for me too. So, tell us about hashtag play apart together. Like, what is this initiative all about, and why does Gemstone want to get involved with it? So hashtag play apart together is an initiative that was started by about 18 game companies in order to encourage people to social distance together in a way that only gamers can do. And that is by playing various games together online, whether it's an MMORPG through a console, through the computer, it's just keeping people connected when we're at a time that like people have to separate themselves from each other. So it's a way of, of keeping the, the community of gamers feeling like they're connected to people without having them endanger people's lives by running around in public when they're not supposed to. Correct, yeah. And, and so why does Gemstone want to get involved with this? When you think about it, Gemstone is one of the oldest games that are out there, and the player base, the community, is super connected. So what better way to participate than being a game that is super connected already? So we're trying to encourage the players that are still playing right now, while also bringing back older players who may have nothing to do because something, you know, either work or or something stopped them. So it's, there's the there's obviously the core group of players that are already playing Gemstone, but the numbers have seen a big spike recently because there are all these players who are home from work or, you know, maybe they're taking care of somebody or they're just not going outside in ways they might normally be because they're not allowed to. And Gemstone's a good way to sort of fill that social gap, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a great way to because... You know, with Gemstone, we've got playing in the game. And then, you know, I know that there's people who use Lich and they communicate through that. But we've also got the Gemstone Discord server, which allows a lot of people to stay connected as well. And we've seen a big resurgence of people coming back, old, old players who maybe haven't even played Gemstone in a decade coming back because they don't have anything to do. <laughs> they're They're at home and they're like, I, I remember this game. Let's come back to it. Let's play. And yeah. they're rediscovering the friends that they may not have talked to in over a decade and over two decades. My favorite example of something like that that I've seen is a there's like a father son duo playing right now. And they were on the Discord asking, what's the best combination for two people who want to play together? And I just I don't know. I find that really endearing. And it's a way mm -hmm. for them to like connect with people, do something together without having to leave home. Oh, yeah, there have been plenty of parents who are bringing their kids in to play Gemstone because it, it's a great experience. And believe it or not, it can actually help with some skills that you don't even think of. I know my taping skill when I first started playing Gemstone was not all that great. And, you know, now it's super, super fast yeah. because it's a matter of life and death. So I, I was talking with someone, too, about uh, kids being home from school and what work they're doing and that kind of stuff because I'm a teacher and someone joked on, I think on Lnet or on discord that all you really need to do to educate a kid is just stick them in the game and say, figure it out. And you are done when you have won an RPA and you've, <laughs> you know, gotten a character to level 80 or something like that. And I think that's actually like not too ridiculous because it does actually offer a fairly wide, you know, like you have to learn some basic coding skills. You have to learn mm -hmm. how to type quickly, how to communicate with people, how to how to play act, like all these things together. Yep. Yeah. Yep. There's there's a lot of things to keep you active in this game, and you know, definitely not bored. <laughs> yeah. And Gemstone is also like a lot of these gaming companies that you mentioned as part of this initiative is trying to do some things and put some stuff in place. Uh, in their effort to support the play apart together idea. So I wanted to highlight some of the stuff that that's happened in the last few weeks and then have you talk about how you think that's been received. So I know this past weekend we just had, I don't know if I should shout this because I have it written all in caps <laughs> with exclamation marks, but Merchant Palooza, which, yes. yeah, so talk about what that was. 
So originally this past weekend was supposed to be the main merchant weekend of the Briar Moon Co. Festival, which was last seen in 2016, I believe. And when that festival was originally run, it was a um, introduction of Simu Coin festivals to try to move away from the box office. Ever since then, people have been asking, when is Briar Moon Cove going to come back? When are we going to do this? And so the plan was initially to have it be a free festival that everybody could attend this year. And this past weekend was the main, main merchant weekend. Unfortunately, there have been a lot of obstacles, but instead of just outright canceling the festival or like postponing it and leaving people with nothing to do this weekend, especially with everything that was going on, um, GM Lydell actually wanted to bring back Merchant Palooza instead and just give something to the to everybody to... I, I feel like it was i mean for me as a player it was exciting just to have this it felt like uh like merchant wheat during ebon gate you know yeah where all yeah. these people are just descending and it was like boom here's someone there boom there's someone there bang and so i was i was literally just like sprinting back and forth from like the landing and whatever and uh it was just fun and exciting and i do think that like i have my hands full with two toddlers at home so I definitely wouldn't say I feel like lonely, but it was a nice way to get like a break from that, that action at my house to have this thing to look forward to because I am a little quarantine stir crazy myself. Yeah, it was it was actually a lot of fun. Um, I know I have a lot of fun with merchanting, um, especially when I bring out my stylist who is super moody. <laughs> um and he was out the most, and a lot of people really enjoy him because he's got no problem calling Charles on people. Oh, I saw that actually on uh, on Darren. Yes. Yeah, repeatedly. That was good. That was fun. Yes. I did enjoy that. I didn't know that yeah. was you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was. He's he's one of my favorite merchants. The other one is my EG merchant, and I've got a small handful, and I I really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed taking the time this weekend to kind of just like randomly pop in for a couple hours and pop out for like an hour and then come back on a different merchant and do some more work yeah no it was it was definitely a lot of fun and i know that there were there was a lot of work done and i know people really enjoyed it like i saw a lot of people expressing gratitude and thanks for that Mm -hmm. and then i know that the other another initiative that gemstone is is launching for a for a while now is this uh 15 experience point boost Mm -hmm. And so I assume that that's just to keep folks feeling like this is a great time to be playing. You're getting all, you know, like more bang for your time investment now. It's just like oh, yeah. a good incentive for getting people to log some time and keep them connected. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, and it'll also help. I, w I would hope it helps build like the community aspect of it where people aren't just super power hunting by themselves, but uh, they're also trying to hunt with other people, you know, get those group hunts going again w with your friends, other various ways to earn EXP, like going to a healer to get healed, going to a cleric to get rate, well, having a cleric race, you, yeah. <laughs> you can't really go to them unless you're dragged to them. That'd but, be pretty sweet. Um, <laughs> well, you know, there's, there's sorcerers who can make you walk to a cleric too. That's so true. They, they can that. drag you. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's just a boost across all those things, which is mm -hmm. awesome. And then Feeder Fridays. So this is every Friday. Explain this one to me because I, I haven't yet experienced this. So the Feeder Fridays is basically for those who do go out hunting and do pick up their boxes because we there are always that subset of people who don't want to pick up the boxes. But this is something that will help push people to hunt more and get those boxes because there are items that are specially created. One of kind items could be something great, could be something that's just cute with a long or whatever. But these items are specially created and the Feeder Fridays is basically you have a higher chance of finding those specially created items. Cool. So it's um, like a, a, a treasure, like a loot boost kind of thing with some special stuff of. on the other side. 
Kind of. Yeah. I've I've always enjoyed finding those one of a kind things. No, and it's awesome. Most of my stuff, like I keep, and I will I would create another character for something that I found in a box that I thought was super cool. I do the exact same. I I found like uh, just a, a couple things over the years, and I have every single one of them kept, even though I'm never going to use them because I just think they're cool. One time I found a shield. It didn't look like it was special, but it was engraved. It was a Carmelin shield, and it was said, um, "If found, return to my mom. Her name is Mom." <laughs> and I just good. thought that was the cutest thing. Yeah, that's really good. I like that. That's better than mine. Mine are just like cool-looking weapons. <laughs> that's kind of sad. Okay, and then I know a lot of players have been coming back because the another big incentive to get folks back in the game is this 90-day premium account reactivation trial. So players can come back, reactivate an old account, start a new premium account, and they can do it for three months for free. Yeah, that's yeah. that's huge because that's, I mean, when you really think about that, that's a $120 deal. In, it's for as much as time like you can play as much as you want to during that time and hunt and reconnect with with friends for free it's i mean it's a really good deal and this is something that we've done in the past um we may not have seen as much success as we are now because of everything that's going on but it's also a really great way to have people who maybe never had premium before try it out See if this see if they want to keep it around because there are a lot of benefits to having premium. Oh yeah, that standard accounts don't get. <laughs> yeah, no, I I never had a premium account until I came back, whenever the last time that I I did was, and it was the same thing. I, I had like a trial. I think it was just for a month, and I it was so much easier, like just being able to be like, oh, I'll meet you at uh, Miss Tarber, like with whoever I was talking to for, you know, like mm-hmm. buying something or selling something or lore singing to something. And it's just, I think it's a huge quality of life upgrade. It's so nice. As a player, I was definitely among the Barbies. So I've, I've got lockers full of stuff. <laughs> yeah. In, in every town and you can in, in every town. Yeah. In every town. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And then I know the another thing that is going to be coming soon is this gift box idea where which normally you might get like a gift box for a holiday or something, but this is going to be a little different from that. So talk about what the gift box initiative is going to be for April. So it's going to start next Wednesday, the 8th, and every two weeks. Um, it's going to go through and people can get a gift box that has a unique item and then some random goodies. The random goodies may be semi point items. I don't know. Okay. So don't quote me on that. I I honestly don't know what's going to be on the gift boxes. That's above my pay grade, but, um, something good, something good, something good. And the fact that it's, you know, sometimes you can go anywhere between one to five years without getting a gift box thing. And we're going to have one, two, three, four yeah. <laughs> in the next couple months. That's kind of huge. That's pretty big. Yeah. I'm excited to see what's in there. So am I. <laughs> yeah. And that starts on April 8th, right? Yes. Okay. And then there's a couple of other things that have yet to come in May. And one of those things actually started today, technically, which is the the changes to the role-playing award system. And so my understanding of that is that now game masters will be tracking every time you're nominated for a role playing award. And then at the end of the month and you'll, your bonus for getting that is increased. And at the end of the month, there'll be some special titles and prizes for the people who, who earn the most of those awards. Is that right? So with, with the role play changes, it is going to be a contest that's going to run through the end of April at the beginning of May, we'll have the information, the results tallied, and the winners of the contest, they'll get a violet RPA orb, which I believe is the highest level of RPA orb that somebody can get. Dusk Ruin vouchers, which is pretty dang awesome, I think. Yeah. Like a 50-pack like a is the gold pack. And yes, they do get a unique title from this. And then as far as like the actual RPA changes, 
the, those have actually increased. Um, they were originally 100, 200, and 300, and 400 for like the flat rate. Now they are 250, 500, 750, and 1,000. That's a pretty um, big increase. It is a, it is a big increase. And I believe the experience modifiers will also be seeing that increase because when somebody gets an RPA, they get a, a flat amount and then they also get an experience modifier with cool. that. So they'll get that as well. And then something that was just, just released at re the request of the players, especially because of the contest, is now players will get notified if somebody has... Uh, nominated them for an RPA. It's just a quick little message to let them know that they've been recognized for their role-playing abilities. Which is a good way of, of letting folks know that their efforts aren't going to waste and then also encouraging them to keep going with it, right? Right. Because before yeah. you'd have really no idea. You'd have no idea until you got that message saying you got the RPA. Yeah. So well, you could be role playing your, to your heart's content, and ain't nobody nominating you, so you don't get anything, so you don't know. Yeah, that's been that's been my life, I think. But that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> and then the other big event that's going to be happening in April is the Rings of Lumnus, right? Which you you say lumnus, and that's okay. We I can say all. Lumnus. We can all like say it our own way. Retzer says rhyme, which is wrong. It's a ream. But the Rings of Luminous are happening. And that's the that's the event where you can get one of those quintuple or brooches. Bro is it brooch or brooch? It, it's a brooch. I always say brooch. But that one I it know I'm like I know I'm wrong <laughs> about brooch. that one. So I will you can get those quintuple or brooches that have all sorts of cool functionality with doing feature changes and then they also have some really awesome mechanical benefits and that they can help you absorb experience faster or hold more experience or do all kinds of stuff like that right yes i like the i've only participated like a few times with with um rings of alumnus as a player it's a cool concept i like the idea the grounds are gorgeous they are absolutely beautiful not going to lie, the only reason why I got my brooch was because it allows me to change my character's eyes. Yeah, there you go. It, there's a lot more benefits to it. That's the only thing I wanted from it. Well, if you <laughs> so. know, if you if you run it a bunch of times, you can also have it change your hair and I think maybe your skin. Too. Yep. So I yeah. think I I think I maxed it out so that all the feature, all three yeah, okay. components You could get all of the Barbie things done. on there. Yeah, yeah, I could do all of them, but that's where I stopped, just because that's what interested me. Yeah, no, uh, and that is, I think that is a cool thing about it that, you know, I, that is not a thing I've ever used on it. Like, I was interested in the experience thing, but, you know, everyone can be happy with the thing that they want there. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm all about the make my stuff pretty. Yeah, <laughs> no, it. I, I uh, I'm all about try to level up a little bit faster. Um, mm -hmm. with two toddlers, <laughs> I need to get like every edge that I can. Understandable. Yeah. Now everyone has probably heard this ad infinitum at this point, but I think it's still worth mentioning that the best way to stay safe right now with everything that's happening in the world is obviously to stay inside and play gemstone with your friends and yes. avoid, avoid real human contact as much as possible. Mm -hmm. But also, if you do have to go out to only do it for really, really important reasons, like getting medicine or getting food or other stuff like that, and being really careful about wearing a mask and washing your hands and wearing gloves. Right. So you said it. Stay home. If you have to go out, do it only for essential like necessities. Yeah. Don't wear gloves all the time because that would be pointless when you think about it. If you put on the same pair of gloves and then you're touching everything and you don't take those gloves off and throw them out and put on another new pair of gloves, it's basically like using your bare hands anyway. Yeah, you, you didn't really do so, anything there. You protected your yeah, hands, but that doesn't yeah, really matter. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, if you're going to use gloves, use them wisely. Make sure you wash your hands. Wash your hands all the time. It's very, very important. If your hands get super dry as a result, get some hand lotion, but yeah. wash your hands. <laughs> and then, yeah, social distancing just is going to be a huge, huge thing. It's and that's really the goal. A big thing, yeah. And that, yeah, that's really the goal behind this initiative, right? Like the yeah. hashtag play apart together is this idea that we may be physically apart, but we can still be 
connected by playing the games that we love. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so stay inside, be really careful, and take it seriously. Like, this yeah. is, it's, you know, it's a thing that hopefully we're going to get through as quickly as possible, but we want everyone to be safe, and the best way to do that is take care of yourself and your family. Yeah, because you may not be at risk, but think about your loved ones who may be. Think yeah. about the ones who can't protect themselves as well as you might be able to, the immunocompromised and everything like that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there are all the sweet gemstone benefits, so just get on your computer and log in and, and go ahead and get them. Yeah. Yeah. Play. <laughs> That's right. Uh, well, Zerafina, thank you very much for joining us on Town Square Central today, and I'm excited to see what the rest of Gemstone's hashtag play apart together benefits will look like, and we appreciate your time. Oh, thank you for having me. Thanks. Thanks.